Tyler Jones here on the Alabama Football Report by Chad Sports with breaking news as the Crimson Tide have found a new offensive coordinator. Tommy Reese from the Notre Dame Fighting Irish will take over play calling duties for Bama in 2023. The decision made by Nick Saban this afternoon. ESPN's Pete Thamel with the story. Sources, Notre Dame OC, Tommy Reese has accepted the Alabama offensive coordinator position. A Friday news dump that I think Alabama fans can find as a sigh of relief of some sorts to find their guy that this offensive coordinator search is now officially over. On today's show, we're going to go into detail and let you get to know Tommy Reese and what exactly to expect from what he'll bring to Alabama from Notre Dame. Let's start out with this from John Bryce with some details on the situation. According to John Bryce of Football Scoop, Reese's new deal at Notre Dame a year ago was a three-year pact that paid Reese on average of nearly $2 million per year and that when Alabama began its pursuit of Reese, the Tide made it clear it would be willing to match or exceed Reese's Irish earnings. So you can see the numbers there show that Tommy Reese is going to get a pretty nice payday from Alabama there. Now, what you may be wondering, when it comes schematically, what can we expect of what Tommy Reese will do with the Crimson Tide? I can tell you this much right now. I would expect a renewed commitment to running the football. Tommy Reese's offense, traditionally speaking, of what they did at Notre Dame, they love to run the football a lot. And I'm not saying that that the Crimson Tide last year didn't run the ball much. Don't get me wrong at that. But I would expect a significant increase in the run game with the style that Tommy Reese likes to do of what we've seen the last three years with the Fighting Irish. Let's tell you more about Tommy Reese. We mentioned that he was the OC there at Notre Dame for the last three seasons and helped guide Notre Dame to 30 wins in that stretch. And they went through a number of different quarterbacks in that time that he was there at Notre Dame, and they were still able to win football games. Remember, he had two different head coaches too, Marcus Freeman this past season, and then the two years previously, he was under Brian Kelly there. And his offense, we mentioned, expect more run game with Tommy Reese coming over from Notre Dame, a spread offensive attack with some pro-style concepts mixed in. And we are going to see the no huddle at times, but we'll kind of explain exactly what that looks like and let you hear from some experts of what they have to say about Tommy Reese's offense here in just a second. And in case you didn't know, this is a guy that is a quarterback himself, a former quarterback at Notre Dame, played four years there, started games in his four-year stretch of dating from his freshman year all the way to his senior year at Notre Dame. You take him away from South Bend, you bring him to Tuscaloosa as your new guy to lead the offense. So I want to hear from you guys. What's your one-word reaction to the hiring of Tommy Reese, bringing him to Alabama? Let me know in the comments section. You might get an ad break. If so, take advantage of it. Put your one word in. My one word for me is interesting. I am very interested to see how this is going to work, how this is going to go, and what changes we'll see in the offense compared to what we saw under Bill O'Brien. I'm very interested to see what's going to happen here. Folks, we are covering Alabama football here on the channel now with coverage of your favorite team. Everything from recruiting to the SEC to the college football playoff. We're going to tell you everything you need to know about your Crimson Tide because there's no fans in college football like Crimson Tide fans. And we're going to do what we can here to cover Alabama like no one else is. So better get along for the ride here, folks, and enjoy the journey as we talk about Alabama football here by Chat Sports. Subscribe now for free. It doesn't cost you a thing. Subscribe now. Be a part of what we're doing here at YouTube.com slash at Roll Tide TV. Now, we've seen over the last few years that the offensive coordinator position for Alabama has been a revolving door of some sorts, that there have been several different play callers over the years. So this is not something that I would say that this program 
is, uh, I would say, unfamiliar with. You go back to 2017, Brian Dable was the offensive play caller, and now he's the head coach of the New York Giants, and they just had a pretty successful year. You go back to 2018, and we all remember ML of what he did, and of course, he's now at Maryland. And then Steve Sarkeesian was around for two seasons in 2019 to 2020. He's now the head coach of the University of Texas. And then there's Bill O'Brien, who after two seasons is now back in the NFL, returning to the New England Patriots to work for Bill Belichick. So the pedigree of offensive coordinators is pretty good. If you're going to be the OC at Alabama, there is a standard to live up to. And that's what Tommy Reese is walking into when he takes over this offense. Now, schematically, we told you that this offense, you can expect them to run the football more, but the tempo is what's going to be fascinating to watch. Jason Garrett called Notre Dame's football games this year on NBC and got to know Tommy Reese pretty well and study this offense. And here's what the former Cowboys head coach had to say at one point this past season about the scheme that Tommy Reese runs. They like to be on the ball. Sometimes they get in the huddle. They continue to mix it up, but it puts a little pressure on the defense. They do a good job of authentically getting into a formation. So BYU, the team that they were playing that time, has to declare its defense. Uh, Garrett referred to this as a scan offense where it's up to the quarterback to scan things uh, a lot. Here's more uh, from Irish Illustrated on what this offensive scheme is. Uh, If quarterback Drew Pine, who was Notre Dame's quarterback last year, and more importantly, offensive coordinator Tommy Reese, likes the matchup he sees from the booth, the play is a run. If not, Reese sends an alert to the sideline signalers, who then transfer the knowledge via hand signals to the offense. The play is changed, and away they go. It sounds simple. And with the way the Irish have been moving the football the last two weeks, it appears that way. So just a little inside of what to expect from this offense, comparably speaking to what Tommy Reese has done the last two years at Notre Dame. Going to show you some statistics here in just a second. But first, I want you to grade the hiring of Tommy Reese. What do you think about what Nick Saban has done to bring Tommy Reese to Tuscaloosa? Let me know in the comment section. Give it a grade. Get out those red pins, A, B, C, D, or F. Put a grade on this and let us know in the comments section below. So let's look at the offensive statistics for Notre Dame and compare those to Alabama this past season. And the Fighting Irish had a total offense that was ranked about 60th in the country. You compare that to the yardage that they had was about 5,120 and take into account they played less games than a lot of teams did in college football because They weren't independent, didn't have a conference championship game, and obviously they only had the one bowl game, not playing in the college football playoff. Yards per play was about 5.92, 50 offensive touchdowns this past season for Notre Dame as well. And then yards per game, this is kind of the equal number that we can all point to, 396.2 yards per game. So nearly 400 yards per game are these statistics there. Now, comparably speaking to Alabama, look at this. Total offense for the Tide last year was ranked 11th in the FBS. Yardage-wise, 6,202. And then yards per play, this is a big jump up compared to what Reese had at Notre Dame, 6.92. A whole yard difference that Alabama's offense had compared to Notre Dame. Offensive touchdown, 63. And then yards per game, 477.1. In every single statistic, the Crimson Tide offensively were better than what Tommy Reese's offense had at Notre Dame. So something uh, worth noting there when it comes to the offense that uh, we're going to see Tommy Reese take over, comparably speaking to what he had with the Fighting Irish. That does it for the Alabama football report today. If you made it to the end of today's video, I want you to spam Roll Tide in the comments section. We're going to bring you more Alabama football content here throughout the coming weeks. So you got to make sure you're subscribed and part of what we're doing. You also follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook talking college football. Going to be talking more Crimson Tide as well. At Tyler Jones Live. I'll see you next time here on the Alabama football report.